Welcome to my last pack opening of NBA 2K16. Or should I say last chance pack opening? No, I'm just kidding. That cheesy joke just, it's way too obvious. I'm not gonna make it. Thank you very much for that. But today, for the last time, I'm opening packs this year. And I say it's the last time because unless I'm mistaken, 2K is not bringing out any more new content this year. So I may as well not waste money on these packs, right? I have no recommendation of that. Unless you guys want to see me open packs in the summer. I, I don't know. I guess let me know. Okay. But these packs right here, they're purple. They got Michael Jordan on them. They're supposed to have all the players in there and increased odds. So if I don't get at least like three diamonds today, well, then I'm really never opening packs again because that's just a waste of my life and your guys' life too. Let's get into these packs. Boy, have you lost your mind? I mean, if this is really my last pack opening, that's kind of sad because it's been a pretty good year for 2K16, I'd say. <laughs> Starting it off with silvers. All right, we're not going to get a diamond every pack. Like, I rage a lot, especially when opening packs and doing other stuff, but for the most part, I'm not too harsh of a critic, so I thought the game was fire this year. I really enjoyed it. There's a defensive player of the year card. In terms of the gameplay, there's always going to be frustrating aspects because people are always going to find a way to cheese the game or, or find little exploits and stuff, which make it really frustrating. But I do think they did a good job of balancing the online play this year. In 2K14, if you guys remember, it was just like a dunk fest. Like that's all it was, just poster dunks everywhere. Another DPOY card. And last year with patch four, it was just all three pointers. So yeah, I can't really make a wish list because I thought the gameplay was pretty good. What I hope next year is just, just that it's better, you know? I just hope it's a little bit better. But in terms of the game as a whole, I don't play enough of the modes. I basically only play my team. So I can't comment on like my career and, and online 5v5 and that guy. I, I don't know about that kind of stuff. But 2K desperately, desperately needs to address the issue of longevity in my team. Like once you beat Road to the Playoffs, what is there to do? And it's honestly the easiest fix ever. There's literally one thing they have to do. Put in leaderboards. I should be able to go see how many wins and losses I have in my team this year and compare it to others. Oh my goodness. You know, I say I don't hate this game and I thought it was fire, but the my team mode is such cancer, man. How did I just get two Tony Kukoches in one box? These are supposed to have all the players in my team. Oh, okay, well, yeah, whatever, man, whatever. And honestly, I say whatever, to something like that, but that's such a big issue to me. Like the pack odds don't have to be crazy, but at least with the amount of packs I've opened this year, it should have been possible for me to get, you know, those collector levels, but it never was because I just steady get duplicates. Like for those people going for that collector, Jordan, there shouldn't be random silvers and golds who are like 30K to 50K MT. That, that doesn't make sense. Those should be more common. You should get everybody, you know, you shouldn't just get the same players over and over again. I mean, I personally doubt they're going to alter pack odds or this kind of thing at all. That's just, I just can't see them doing that. But I mean, leaderboards, definitely a must. That would make this game, this game mode so much more fulfilling oh my goodness it would just like if you could see maybe you'd score the most points per game in all of the my team world or have the best defense or three point percentage or opponent's field goal percentage all that stuff i don't know why they can't have that why they can't keep track of that and actually the one thing i've wanted for a long time in addition to those kind of leaderboards is like individual stats of players so maybe i can go see leaderboards of who scores the most points per game with a single player so maybe the top at the top of the leaderboard for points per game it's like diamond michael jordan from this gamer tag he scores 27 points a game with michael jordan in the 56 games he's played on my team with him. I, I don't know. That sounds pretty cool to me. Don't you guys think? See, those kind of things would make my team each game count. You know, maybe each game, then you want to pad your stats with a certain player to keep them on top of that leaderboard. Like that would make the game a little bit more fulfilling to me. And also what would make the game more fulfilling is like a draft mode, you know, draft champions, all that stuff. EA Sports has got going on. Just, just please add something like that in to 2K17. And I'm not going to pretend like I know, you know, how copyrights and stuff works. And I'm pretty sure 2K can't just rip off Madden or EA's modes, but as we get, yeah, another Bobby Jones. Yep. That sounds about right. That sounds about... <laughs> But Madden Ultimate Team is actually such a phenomenal game mode. Like, they're still bringing out content. The season's been over for, like, five months or something like that. Like, oh my goodness. All you get is these six-man cards. Don't, don't open these packs. Really, don't open these packs. It's literally not worth it. Like, in my opinion, 2K should, of course, avoiding copyrights. They should copy and paste Madden's Ultimate Team mode and bring it into this game. So you could have collections and whatever you call them. What do they call them there? Uh, sets. And have rewards and make collecting cards worth it like that game mode honestly the card collecting aspect of mutt is sometimes even better than playing the game and the whole fiasco with 97 kareem and 99 kareem 
what they should do is make something like domination but maybe more games twice as long something like that so it's really difficult but have a 99 card in the game that you can get right away if you put in the time like i know mutt has like all those different solo challenges that you can get all those different you know 90 plus overall players and then the faster you do it the faster you had a chance at that whatever you call it boss whatever marshawn lynch 99 overall that's how 2k should do it so maybe if you complete domination and then a, a set of challenges maybe you have to play 100 games or 100 scenarios or something maybe you can get like a 96 97 overall kobe bryant next year or something like that and if you spend the time doing it from right as soon as the game drops you can get them in the first month but you know not everybody's gonna do that so releasing that kareem in april and then of course following it up the next week by 99 version that's just stupid and i'd hope by now so many people have talked about these types of fixes i'd hope by now the devs for 2k are adding some of these things into next year's game because it, it literally, uh, it can't just be, you can open packs, you can play games, and, and you know, that's it. I know they tried adding Gauntlet, but that honestly is kind of a flop, except for trying out players early. But the fact that you can have a game mode on Madden like Draft Champs, where you don't even have to play Mutt. Like, occasionally I hop on Madden now too, I don't play Mutt. I go into Draft Champs, because you can get a chance to play with the best players. And it's super cool like gauntlet isn't that thing in 2k they need a mode inside of the mode that's fun you know does that make sense that's why i think draft champs has been so successful for madden and honestly there's a lot of people who can't really play my team because if you don't spend money on it it's not that fun you know you can make an all gold team but that's about it so either 2k has to make a way for us to make mt like you can in mutt by doing all those challenges and then being able to sell the players and actually making good profit if they don't do that then a draft champs mode would be so perfect because it's a mode you can play with some of the best players that's not technically my team or not technically my but it's still that type of feel i don't know man i just wish nba live wasn't such an arcade garbage graphically just awful game like i, I don't understand why it's so bad like why can't the people who develop madden make nba live oh oh an amethyst oh my gosh that is so crazy because if nba live was a dope game first of all i would probably play it second of all it would make 2k create a better game it would just force their hand hey dwight howard yeah i loved that card in like december and january that was my favorite card thanks thanks and i like how i started this video by saying hey i like 2k16 it was a cool game and now i've pretty much just bashed it for like six minutes but uh yeah i really did enjoy the game this year <laughs> it's just opening packs every time i did it kind of made me want to just punch a hole in my wall so other than that phenomenal game 2k whatever you guys do don't open these packs they're a scam <laughs> but there you have it guys last chance packs definitely my last pack opening of the year because those packs are straight garbage whatever you want to call it just that, that that's just so bad we increased pack odds yeah sure you did 2k <laughs> but i hope you guys enjoyed the video and the discussion about 2k17 what do you guys think of my suggestions for the game and what do you guys think should be added to make my team the goat mode let me know down in the comment section don't forget to thumbs up this video well thumbs up not sideways thumbs up this video and subscribe if you are new i'm about to go cry myself to sleep just kidding it's like one in the afternoon so uh yeah good luck if you guys for some reason decide to open these packs Peace.